I'm Eileen Wood and I am going to tell you a little bit about my collection of George Peter paintings. George Peter was born in 1922 in New York City and he went to school at the School of Industrial Arts and then followed by art study at the Brooklyn Museum Art School. And shortly thereafter, upon graduation, he was inducted into the Army, went off to the war, and returned in the 1940s, I think close to 1945. And at that point, went out to California and worked for Disney Studios as an illustrator and painted on his own time, but his bread and butter was made at the Disney Studios. And he eventually relocated back to the East Coast where he settled, he married a woman named Betty, and they settled and began to have a family in Westchester County. They lived in Scarsdale, New York, and his studio was in Scarsdale. And at that time, he was a neighbor and became very good friends of my first husband, Erwin Hochberg. Erwin and his first wife, Barbara, were neighbors and great friends of Betty and George and the four of them did lots of things together. And Irwin was an art collector and he was very taken with George's paintings and he wanted to be supportive of his friend and encourage him. So Irwin bought a large number of the paintings and uh, in time Irwin and I had an apartment in Miami and these are paintings that were on all of the walls of our Miami apartment. And. Um, they're very beautiful, they're pointillistic, and George worked in a number of different styles, but this particular group of paintings that I have here at Santa Bonin Gallery are pointillist, and they are landscapes, and for instance, this one you see a forest in the foreground, a field, and you see water, and you see mountains in the background that are reflected off the water. And this one is somewhat similar in that you see the water has all kinds of light reflecting from the sky and the trees are mirrored in the water and you've got the line of um, the landscape. Same here, but they're really, they're very lovely. They're very soothing. They use a lot of blues, a lot of greens, a lot of lavenders, purples. And if we move on to some of the other paintings, these paintings, I'm, I'm considering it a diptych. It's a two-part, it's one painting that is on two separate canvases. And if you notice the mountains and the landscape, the lines continue and connect. And what I find really beautiful about this, these are two of my favorites, is the waterfall. You see the water coming off of the mountain and landing at the bottom. But these are all done in a pointillist style, tiny little dots of paint. And when you're right up close, you see all the polka dots, but then when you move back out, it really, the image connects and congeals and you can see what the artist was intending. This is another landscape painting done by George Peter. And what's most pretty about this and the ones we're going to look at next is that they are very stylized trees. So you see the trunks of trees at the bottom and you see the leaves in the sky, but they're just really beautiful and light and soothing and peaceful. They're really very tranquil and beautiful to live with. And these also are landscapes that feature trees and woods. And George was very well collected back in, I'd say the 40s, 50s, 60s, because George had a father-in-law who owned a very famous restaurant in New York City called the Seafair of the Aegean. And it was on 57th Street, directly across the street from Bergdorf Goodman. And it drew a very high-end clientele, and it was a lovely seafood restaurant. And George's father-in-law decorated the walls with all of these George Peter paintings. And the paintings were available for sale directly out of the restaurant. So a number of well-known people, including Frank Sinatra and uh, other members of the Rat Pack, collected some of these paintings when they were dining, having dinner at the Seafair. 
Additionally, uh, George Peter had a gallery in Japan and was also represented by a gallery in Soho. And the Japanese gallery had tremendous success with his work. So George is very well known and highly regarded in Japan. And um, I think it's just a very zen, soothing quality of the paintings. These 10 George Peter paintings uh, were out of my personal collection. They only represent a small portion of the George Peter paintings that I own. And this was a group of paintings that I love dearly, but unfortunately don't have the space for any longer. But I still retain a, a large number of George Peter paintings. He also painted a number of paintings that were just straight pointillistic abstract paintings. And uh, I have a wonderful painting that's a stylized charging bull. And I have a couple of them that are really more like color studies. And these also function in a sense as color studies. They're, they're really quite lovely and delicate. But um, these paintings are just really beautiful and tranquil. It's a very, very peaceful and soothing group of paintings.